Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Through the week, as I just spent a little time with God, I wrote something down that I would want to read verbatim, just the way it came to my spirit. I wanted to listen. I said, many believers have a lot of zeal and passion, but their understanding about realities, spiritual realities, is so small, they hardly experience any sustainable growth breakthrough or victory listen carefully many believers have a lot of zeal and passion these were my contemplations during the week but their understanding about spiritual realities is so small they hardly experience any sustainable growth breakthrough or victory and then i wrote this the cure is submitting oneself in me to teachings that supply useful informations and broaden our comprehension of spiritual things this is what I preferred as the cure for this state of spiritual bankruptcy where on one side a man can have all the zeal required but another side he may not be able to sustain his growth breakthrough and I said the cure it's not just to listen but to submit yourself it comes from the word baptizo like a baptism you baptize yourself intensely to teachings that supply useful information and broaden your comprehension of spiritual things and that's what God is helping us to do we've been looking at a number of strategic series that empower us to triumph and um, we took a break last week so that we could take out time to celebrate the Easter and the communion. The mystery of exemption. How real is exemption? Is there such a reality in the spirit? Is there a provision in the dealings of God with men where a man can be exempted? Genesis chapter 4 verse 13. Let's start from there tonight. Media, let's work together tonight. Genesis chapter 4 verse 13 the reality of exemption everyone please read we're reading to verse 15 one to read this was hold on this was a situation between cain and god are we together now cain having discovered that he killed his brother god pronounced certain judgments upon him and this was the response of cain one to read and cain said to the lord uh-huh my punishment is greater than I can bear. 14. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from the face, from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass, this was his fear, that everyone that findeth me, hold on before we go to 15, everyone that finds me, no specific i mean look at this kind of tragedy in a man's life everyone that finds you destroys you and then something happened in verse 15 
the first demonstration or the second demonstration outside of the garden of eden where we see a man being exempted 15 read on please and the lord said unto him therefore whosoever slayeth cain vengeance shall be taken on him and the lord set a mark upon a man he had cursed this was his request reduce my punishment oh god i know i'm already cursed you have made me by your pronouncement a fugitive and a vagabond and everyone that means there was another mark he said anyone that sees me will kill me and the bible says and the lord set a mark upon cain why lest any finding him should kill him does that mark still exist today where god can put upon a person lest any sickness finding you will kill you lest any catastrophe exemption is a reality you have to believe this in the economy of god the aspect and the dimension of kingdom reality you believe is what will become your experience it is important to listen to men of god listen to pastors it is important to be loyal to people but you are only loyal to them provided they are loyal to the word if a man is not loyal to the word i will not listen to him because he will peg me around his limitation and present his limitation to be the full portrait of all that there is in god so believing him in innocence i will still be bankrupt of certain dimensions of spiritual reality paul said follow me as i follow christ meaning if you find at any point that i'm not interested in developing myself in the knowledge of god you are authorized to divorce yourself from your loyalty to me and he set a mark upon him exodus chapter 8 22 and 23 let's give the second scripture tonight and then we'll begin to build exodus i like us to read it we're reading 22 and 23 together one to read and i will severe in that day read on the land of goshen in which my people dwell listen and that no swarms of flies shall be there to the end that thou mayest know that I am the Lord in the midst of the earth. Last verse. And I will between my people and thy people. And it says tomorrow shall this sign be. Exemption is a sign. A signboard leads somewhere. When I get to a place and I see someone's hair and a clipper upon it, it is a signboard saying there is a Babin saloon close. That means when God exempts you, it's a sign that the hand of God is within the vicinity at work in the life of a man. It says tomorrow shall this sign. What sign? A division. Swarm of flies will come and devour people and their crops and their savings and everything. But I will put a division say lord exempt me shout it with faith lord exempt me exemption is real it is a reality in the system of god there are men there are ministries there are organizations that are working in the reality of that truth and the goal of this teaching is to help us you cannot boastfully speak of triumph in a year when you are watching things kill people i think it was kenny who was over at my place briefly just for a word and then um he met me having a conversation with ejimi we're discussing something very serious and then he said i think a woman i don't know maybe the woman is here a dear woman of god who lost two children concurrently i think within this vicinity lost a child they went to bury the child before they came back or i think immediately they came back another one died don't ever tell me that's a natural death no sir i know god enough to know witchcraft when i see it are we together and i will put a division a division please pay attention to what i'm teaching you i have taught again 
and let me say this the realities of the kingdom are available in Christ but they are accessible through understanding backed up by obedience that's what the Bible calls faith faith is not quoting scripture faith is the journey of faith starts with your understanding and accurate comprehension not just of what God has said the end of understanding is you know your role in the equation if you don't know the part you have to play you have not understood it there are so many people listen carefully there are so many people who want the things God has said but they do not they even have the zeal to obey but they are they are in confusion as to what their roles the role that you have to play obedience is key if you are to experience anything in the kingdom Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 says it shall come to pass in that day if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord it says to do and observe all that I command thee to do and observe not discuss and wish not desire and intend to do and observe all that I commanded this day that this blessing shall come upon you overtake you right and all of that you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you so many believers are living in an illusion that because God is so mighty he will not allow them die like that after all Jesus gave his only son let me tell you something this thing called the will of man is an implication on us the will of man stops God from assuming man needs his help your obedience is proof of your dependency in, on God it is costly to sit down and assume that after all God knows I need his help God knows I'm tired of poverty God knows I don't want death God knows the background I come from God knows the witchcraft in my family you have to engage the world through understanding and complete obedience complete obedience say amen the next time you pick your bible don't just search for what god has said search for what he told you to do to see what he has said this is how believers become matured let me tell you something brothers and sisters many of the continual woes in people's lives is not because the outstretched arm of the lord cannot show up it is because they are waiting and hoping that because Jesus died upon the cross one day he will change my finances one day he will take away evil from my life that day may never come it says there remaineth a rest Hebrews 3 4 for the people of God there remaineth a rest it says if you hear his voice harden not your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness and died the day you hear his voice is potentially the day of your breakthrough the meter of your success starts reading from the day you obey not from the day you hear you can hear god when you were 10 years and obey him when you are 40. the meter reads that you have obeyed god for one year obedience is what counts are we together not just blind obedience obedience based on understanding because you can obey nonsense you can obey what pastor said you can obey what apostle said but only hope that what apostle said is really what god said come i can give an instruction and god says let's go right that's how we're going to get the result are we together now and then you move left you see that with that kind of instruction listen two things will happen number one you stand a chance of being destroyed because although you are obeying my word is not consistent with the word of god now let me tell you something i've learned about god i've shared it here the mercy of god which is the last dimension of this series we are going to consider are we together now is such that because you obeyed me totally believing that i came from god 
God will remove that breakthrough and relocate it to your direction of obedience. It should not have happened, but because you will have to honor your faith, because you received me as touching Christ, then God will deal with me now for misleading you. So that one is between me and God. But you are not going to be punished for obeying me as passive. This is why you will see a man of God teach nonsense. People will obey and still get breakthrough. It's not because what the man is teaching is right. It's because the testimony of God is upon their obedience. And so God will prove himself. Then the man of God erroneously will justify that because it worked, it meant it was correct. No. As you walk with God, a day will come when God will say, if you do it again, I will deal with you. I've been keeping quiet and you have been manipulating money from people. The other time, you lied that I sent you to a Jimmy to collect 100,000. He gave you and he got a car. And you claimed it was a sign that you are, a, you are Apostle Joshua Selman. If you tell anybody to give you money again, I will personally reveal myself to you in the night vision. <laughs> say obedience. Mary said, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Can we pray just for a minute and say, Lord, the spirit of disobedience. You know there's such a spirit? Pray. Get it out of my life, oh God. I'm tired of the way it has been cheating me and shortchanging my destiny. Cast it oh, Be very serious about it. There are many of us, the moment God tells you to do something, there is a spirit that refuses you from obeying. Tithe! And the spirit said, don't worry. They are just trying to destroy your money. You are sick and God says, take the communion. He said, all this nonsense. I don't want to look like a child. Cast it. It's a spirit of disobedience. No, oh yes. We will obey yes to your will yes to your ways oh yes Lord. hallelujah praise the lord god bless you thank you very much let's do a quick revision um in the last discussion that we had together we agreed that the first key the first principle prescribed by God for any individual, any group of people to experience exemption is what we call the God first principle. Everyone say it after me. Yeah, the God first principle according to Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. The Bible says to seek first his kingdom. And I told us that when God becomes secondary in our lives, we have signed in for disaster. God must become first and all. Not first alone. First and all. First and all. Are we together? Anytime God becomes first alone, that's not enough. He must be first and all. That's what gives meaning to every other thing that comes in your life. And then... The second thing we talked about is the mystery of kingdom service and we stop there am i right the mystery of kingdom service and i told us there are three dimensions to kingdom service we took on number one and we said soul winning and establishment please make sure you don't forget we agreed that soul winning talks of helping men find jesus and leading men to embrace the lordship of jesus over their lives and we examined a few scripture i don't want us to go there i'll just quote them quickly daniel chapter 12 verse 3 it says and they that be wise shall be like the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the brightness of the heavens even forevermore and um the bible also said in second corinthians chapter 5 18 to 20 that God has given us the ministry and the word of reconciliation both the ministry and the word of reconciliation and we looked at Proverbs 11 verse 30 the Bible says he that winneth souls is wise and remember what um, David said about wisdom he said with me are riches wealth and honor yea, durable riches and righteousness 
he says by me kings reign and princes decree justice so part of the benefits of soul winning is that you have access to the wisdom of god that will produce results in your life so we'll take it off from there the second dimension of kingdom service that we must engage for supernatural exemption is service in the house of god write it down kingdom service service in the house of god exodus please exodus 23 and then we'll look at 25 to 26 please make sure you write it down and you follow carefully service in the house of god very few believers have been taught that service in the house of god is a system created by god for men to experience supernatural exemption exodus chapter 23 25 and 26 okay let's read it one two go and ye shall serve the lord your god uh-huh four things he will do four things i want us to understand what is your own part of the deal you shall and then when you do serve him he shall bless your bread and your water that's number one number two he shall take away sickness from the midst of thee number three verse 26 there shall nothing cast her young or be barren so we see the blessing of fruitfulness and finally the number of thy days i will fulfill all this and more just for serving in the house of god now listen carefully most believers think service in the house of god is a way to help the man of god and help his vision or help the church grow it is a very dangerous understanding part of the kingdom responsibility of any and every believer is to contribute actively to the advancement of his kingdom and that involves making sure that every structure and platform he has put together finds an atmosphere and an environment where people can be saved built equipped and empowered to represent his purposes and that includes service service in the house of god as prescribed by god in fact when the lord was sending moses to pharaoh this is what he said go and tell pharaoh let my people go that they may go and serve me serve me there are many people who have gotten more results than even their personal spiritual lives because they have subscribed to the foolishness of kingdom service are we together now many people do not know that service in the house of god brings blessings many people pity the man of god and say there's nobody holding camera kai let me not waste my nigerian tv college certificate let me just come and help them the moment you have an idea that you are helping a man of god or helping a ministry you have destroyed your potential for blessing through service are we together now every worker in the house of god is an employee by god you have to understand this every genuine worker in the house of god is an employee by god what a privilege to be in the labor force of god you work for people you don't trust their integrity you don't trust them there is no guarantee of their reward and here comes the king of the ages recruiting men and women to make sure that his house is served properly do you believe who lied to you that you will serve the king of kings look there are men who serve god for a living i'm not talking of pastors they serve their way into unimaginable breakthroughs as good as soul winning is do you know it's a terrible thing and this has been the foundation of our teaching even in this ministry that you are born again and not actively useful your energy your wisdom your creativity is not contributing i cannot sit down in a place and be comfortable that 
the grace the gift the creativity the the energy that god has given me is not participating in the building of the lord's house that when souls are saved you cannot say my energy contributed my wisdom contributed to making this happen i was part of those who set the sound for those outside to hear the word of the lord and be saved i'm part of those who clean the altar to make it conducive i'm part of those moving around when someone fell under the anointing as that demon was flying out of his life i held him if your energy cannot be accounted for as being used to serve God you qualify for disaster it's not a threat it's the truth Job 36 verse 11 read with me people of God Job 36 verse 11 Job 36 please give it to us Job 36 verse 11 one to read if they obey and serve him uh-huh they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure what's the condition if they obey and so if bill gates money if bill gates energy if bill gates institute is contributing if zuckerberg's facebook is contributing to advancing the kingdom he qualifies to profit more than a tongue-talking christian whose energy are we together now if they obey and serve him the moment your energy you remember the bible says love the lord with all your heart uh-huh with all your might all your strength everything about you must contribute in that process you can't say i love god that no 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 the worship songs that lift the spirit of men did they come from your secret place or are you just a recipient you came to the house of god and saw chairs cleaned and you argued and fought with people and sat down and god is watching when i was falling down why didn't you catch me you just allowed me to fall down like that and god is watching listen you can serve your way out of any cause and any yoke i've said it years years and i will repeat it again i i don't want to use the word fear like dread but i have a great respect for people who serve me in christ and serve god because i know they are walking their way to an enviable dimension service Malachi chapter 3, 17 and 18. I'll serve, I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll serve, I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best. I'll do my best I'll do my best for you I'll do my best I'll do my best I'll do my best for you my best Lord is everything I am my best Lord I give all I have to you you made me great you made me special these guys don't know the song you made me great I give all I have to you yeah you made me great you made me special you made me great I give all I have to you my best Lord is everything I have. My best Lord, I give all I have to you. My best Lord is everything I have. My best Lord, I give all I have to you. Listen, this used to be our national anthem those times when we were preparing for crusade 
we would sing it and dance as we walked ourselves out like fools it was a song i wrote as a love song to god a, a declaration of my surrender how could i give him less you know when you go to buy clothes they will tell you there's this time but if you really have money let's climb up there is a section i don't have that kind of thing with god everything he finds is all of me hmm. service malachi chapter 3 verse 17 and 18 let's read it one to read and they shall be mine uh-huh in that day when i shall make up my jewels i will spare them read on as a man spared his son not that loves him that serves him next verse then shall he return and discern between the righteous and the wicked uh-huh between him that serveth god and him that serveth him there is a difference so sister don't let anybody fool you and say keep serving all these stupid people that's how everybody will marry and leave you just hold on god will give you a man that is equivalent to your salary of 30 years while the rest are there using whatsapp to connect and arranging you are serving do you know sometimes people can mock you as you serve god they'll say you are serving god so that you get husband is that not a good reason is that not a good reason is it not better to serve god and be sure of what he gives oh come on now many workers in the house of god are turned to be fools because they spend their time they spend their energy and when people who don't understand spiritual things look at them they say but Abba, Sam, you are underutilizing your potential that's what they say simply because in many circles maybe the people are not staff of the ministry and may not be receiving anything like a salary and so men you see newspapers insulting men of god and say the labor force they should have employed they now get people in many churches while they are building you will see wealthy people come and they are trying to put it and they insult the men let me tell you certain things about your service that makes it fruitful number one your service must be willing if you serve god out of compulsion you will never receive a reward from it please understand this this is why as a ministry we never coerce people you don't manipulate people using courses and say if you don't say no 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 that's that's manipulation if there be first a willing mind willing mind service it must be willing number two it must be with joy it must be with joy you don't serve god with joy forget about your reward believe what i'm telling you grumbling all around say oh, today is tuesday again we're just going to pray only god knows where apostle is we are just suffering to pray for him and he's enjoying let me tell you you speak like that god will punish you and the covenant i have with him will punish you two things against you very bad statement and when you stand ba, 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 and there you see people pray all their heart and say why are they doing this did they charm them that's the same way when they are enjoying the blessings and you talk god will say keep quiet thank god you saw them when they were praying like fools brothers and sisters i show you the 21st century investment serving god serving god banks will not teach you this oh serving god wholeheartedly with all your heart you are giving god everything you are sweeping the house of god and you know sometimes i watch these people when the power of god begins to move and sometimes people are around under the anointing coughing all kinds of things and you see all those ushers coming and i'm saying my god look at this sometimes they are there scrubbing the toilets cleaning the toilets people with dignity and respite and their reputation 
they throw it on the ground just because of the house of God if you were God will you leave them like that please answer me if you being evil no I think I'm compassionate enough to see someone who is serving sincerely and not let him go hungry let me tell you something if you know you are serving God especially in this ministry wholeheartedly you have a right to claim a reward I teach the leaders you can go before God and say Lord I am in your payroll no witch no devil no darkness I'm serving Lord I swept your house with sincerity Lord I was cooking the food this is the evidence of the firewood this is it this pain is a scar it's a testament Lord when I was given an assignment to lead prayer I did it with all my heart unto you when I was serving as a head of department it's not I service with joy the Bible says shall you draw there are many angry preachers when they come on stage you know they are angry as though the members are not blessing me I'm here blessing you and you're not please pastors don't harass any member they didn't call you go and meet the person who called you don't harass any member with money and all of that Do you know let me tell you something let me digress and talk about this money thing if you manipulate people to bless you number one that money will never be useful to you and you rob them of their blessing the secret of being blessed from people raise them raise men not money raise men empower people pour your heart and teach them everything and they will surprise you some of you will build me houses in the future no 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 you will you will it's not whether you like me or not you will be too blessed to forget about me it's a programming something is happening to you I know you think I'm just motivating you and then tomorrow someone will be angry and say what is it about this guy you know let me tell you let me teach you a secret of greatness find people who are weak and start investing in them grow with them they, you can change their future but you can't change history your name is already imprinted in their starting up days not that you see somebody who you did invest in just because he has a car you say is my son are you stupid what did you contribute in his life that's why nobody calls a blind person his son nobody calls a deaf person my daughter because they are looking for privileges but there is a way you will bless somebody and pour your heart and they say lord bless me let me find something to do to this person true wealth is men the result of their impact and their gratitude to you for changing their lives all this run around one two you have not said anything you are saying sam i've been seeing you changing clothes and i've not eaten of your your reward that's 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 a that's a lot of foolishness no god is my witness and i say it in the open that i don't have any special person that i corner and say please you are a, a, an elite a group of people you are the ones who will be servicing me that's why i walked the word for myself you see why it's good to be blessed so that you can preach and not depend on anybody who tells you preach on on enemies then they change your message simply because they, they are buying generator you carry your generator and go away with it never mix money and ministry you will be doing a very foolish thing and not every seed is collectible some seeds are your birthright please don't be foolish pastors i don't know why i'm speaking to you now not every seed is collectible some seeds are you are collecting your dignity you are you are you are trading away your dignity and your destiny you must discern not everything is worthy of receiving bible says a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field let's continue service in the house of god it must be joyful god is my witness i know god be my witness in the midst of your people i have never i have never since god began to walk with me way before koinonia and this i have never for once 
turn and complain and say god guide this ministry friday again or this day again no those who are close to me know that my work schedule will take the grace of god otherwise you fall down and die one day and i do it joyfully tomorrow we're in gombe preaching again and casting every devil out and we're happy i do these things not because any man is paying me i do it first because i love him but i know that it is a mystery do you know let me tell you something do you know what people call job is simply the rat race of trying to make ends meet when god really blesses you you find out that there's not much to do in life truly truly there is not much to do in life i think it was during the leaders training i was teaching them this when you are really blessed if your salary is hundred thousand let's even be fair two hundred thousand per month in one year that's 2.4 million in 10 years that's 24 million right all things being equal in 20 years that's 48 million so you are working and that's what you plan to get if god gives you 60 million now you will get up in the morning when people are working you just be strolling and say what exactly do i do today so you see that listen this occupancy we claim to be busy is simply we are trying to look for money to build so you have a 10 year project to build a house and you get it one by one but you can serve your way to a god who does not pay a fixed price he pays according to his riches not according My, your boss pays listen listen don't think i'm flattering you when you are in god's payroll laugh laugh for oh, be happy service there are many people who have cheated themselves to serve your way into that child i've been burying for five years and you sit down and all you do is just come and sit down and be pulling your mouth and say kai why is the house of god hot today and the devil says continue this is the kind of people we like there is a way you can sweep any nonsense out of your life as you sweep the house of god and people are looking at you and saying ah, ah, all these guys apostle is standing they are standing how about even the ladies are standing do you know even during night vigils they stand what kind of punishment is this they say look at how church has torn your head and god here you know god hears people yeah lord i do it as unto you i'm tired but i carry the chairs yes I'm tired but I carry the chairs I was I sometimes I look at the ushers and they are so trained in my opinion I think our ushers are one of the best trained ushers in terms of sensitivity truly speaking and response to the spirit I have traveled to many places great churches big churches and it's surprising when the power of God begins to break out because most times the power of God breaks out at special events so the people know in koinonia anything can happen I can be talking now and somebody is flying up before you know it there's an usher there they have the sensitivity it's a training all that training just for an usher that's the training of a pastor when you finish that training should you be an usher to be that sensitive to hold people but he's watching brothers and sisters hear me i remember and i always share this there is none of us today that just got up and started ministry every one man of god that i know especially those who came out of zaria you can trace their history to times of dogged kingdom service I jokingly used to tell people i think 1994 95 thereabout i used to play keyboard for a man called reverend emmanuel amechi ani power praise chapel they started it we would have our local assembly and i would trek with my own keyboard i would carry it and go there and i'm just playing little did i know that one day that little shepherd will also become king because that's how he watches you are behind the throne you better leave it and stay and focus on 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 making sure the sheep of god is healthy many of you just eye every throne you see that's why you keep fantasizing the secret to the throne is in your servicing the sheep 
I remember I would play keyboard for them. Afterwards, they would just come and hug me, bless you, and on my way home, trekking. I always say this only two things I received only two things from that ministry wonderful people don't have any I don't even know where they are today during the launching of the man's cassette no CDs then they gave me one bottle of Fanta and one free cassette that's all I got for laborious service I carry my keyboard by myself I walk like a madman and I get one bottle of Fanta and and uh, and cassette he was into prisons ministry but God was watching you see that many of you just see before you start admiring people find out their track record they have a track record of service genuine service koinonia is where when people come they throw away their golden crown nobody comes to do any big man you are either serving God or you sit down there. Don't come and say, I am a... You don't come here outside and say, please prepare a special seat. And if you are special, we know. Once they don't know, you find somewhere and sit down. You don't come and say, look, I'm here together with my peer. No, no, we don't do that. Kingdom service. You want to experience triumph? You must be willing to serve God and serve in the house of God. Your energy your time your zeal your gift joyfully not complaining and say i don't like my head of department tells everybody thank you except me he didn't employ you no he should say so but if he doesn't turn to god and say lord you are the one i'm serving i serve you with all my heart lord you see every time i pray here lord you see every time during the rehearsals I spend hours and hours do you know let me tell you something and I want to submit to you I consider myself to be one of the most privileged man of God of my age range and my level I truly believe so God has given one of the best sets of workers in koinonia I've told them too many times I think you should clap you really should clap hallelujah it is difficult to find a ministry where men are very anointed gifted and yet very loyal and sincere and true you don't find it you never find arguments going on in, uh, during the leaders meeting uh, no, no 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 total submission total loyalty to god there are departments I don't visit for months and they never bend to the standards they are given. The leaders serve with sincerity and truth. It's one of the secrets to my ministerial efficiency because most of the time is spent in prayer and the word and general oversight. Not going around to monitor because you suspect that this are no, 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 no. Faithful people. Are we together? And among other reasons is because we sowed that seed of faithfulness so we are not surprised do you serve god joyfully and have you been indoctrinated and laughed at sisters i speak to you particularly because there is this madness that flies around the moment they see a young lady serving in the house of god people just look at her those who say ah she's just serving because of husband others are saying she's just serving because uh, all these ladies just wasting away jerry look at a fine girl like this will now come and make herself an idiot in church who told you the house of god is a place where destinies are wasted who preached that to you where did you get that indoctrination that the house of god dries up the potentials of people let me tell you the future some of you what you are doing now is already the price for the future when you see men running around god will say i forbid you you have served too much to serve men i'm, I'm speaking to you from my heart tonight how can i bow down before you 
and then bow down before men. No way. No way. Hey, how can I kneel down before you and then kneel down before men? No way. You must serve somebody in life. Either God or your shrine. Where you are coming out from. That you are supposed to be the next priest. You left carelessly and the altar is still crying for a servant. You better secure yourself serving God. There are many people who do not know that service is a mystery of exemption. You can't be idle on, uh, idle on earth. A master will occupy you. You don't serve God, you serve sickness. You don't serve God, you serve pain. You don't serve God, you serve a bad and wicked and foolish and stupid man. You don't serve God, you serve another demonic roaming around your family. Let me tell you, any arrow sent from anywhere will come and meet me serving. It will bounce back a thousand times. Because there is a system. There is an insurance system in God. For those who serve him. He says he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea he reproved kings for their sake. Saying touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. He said I shall not die. But live and declare. As I'm serving I immune myself from death. I think I was discussing with a few people. Um, a few days ago. Look at me. Let me say something dominion dominion is not running away from things because of fear of satan is prevailing over them and triumphing over them are you getting what i'm saying let me give you an instance i think a discussion came up and then um, someone was asking a question and then i tried to clarify it if i'm supposed to go and preach now and you have a vision or a dream a true vision that my car is having accident i will still go you see i will not allow that vision stop me from preaching my limitation is only the voice of god not the fear of death dominion is to change it and go anyway that's dominion if you allow fear destroy you you will not do many things are we together yeah There are too many people being governed by fear. They claim to be walking in dominion. They have the money for flights. They will never fly. Because every time they are about to fly, they see something in the night. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. You are not glorifying God if you live an escapism life. You are always escaping. I just saw Sam that there will be an accident. And then Sam says, I'm not going again. Let's just be careful. One day, then... <laughs> You've not seen people sit quietly in their houses and a truck came and killed them. The name of the Lord, rather, is a strong tower. The righteous enter. So as I'm driving, I'm in the name. The boss collides with the name before it collides with me. This is my understanding. And you know I travel a lot. We're about traveling tomorrow now. I'm saying these demons are hearing me. The spirit of death is hearing me. They are probably going to stand in the road to kill me tomorrow. And I'll be back on Friday. Now, you imagine that kind of frustration. <laughs> Apostle, don't speak like this, oh. Apostle, we love you. Don't, don't trouble them and they don't trouble. I trouble them big time. That's where I'm alive. Don't trouble them. <laughs> You don't fear two people if you fear god that's enough how can i bow down before you and then bow down before me no way hey, hey. how can i sing a song before you and then sing a song before men because you are my God. He's 
not our God, he's my God. You are my God. It's a revelation of him that I have. It's a covenant with him that I have. You are my God. A fish never fears plane crash because it has no business with the air. Are we together? So when the Bible says, I am far above, I have no business with certain realities. They only affect you when you dwell in that realm. I don't know how to make you believe this thing. Listen, I speak not only because God said it, I speak because I found what I have to do to make it work. When you make boastful statements like this without knowing your part, you will die like a chicken. The very next day, the cow will so butcher you leg and head together and scatter you. I've seen the spirit of death. I've told you. Yes. I wish I were an artist. I would have drawn it for you. You see, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. These spirits know men. They know those who know them. It's like somebody who is from your neighborhood and goes somewhere where they don't know him and says, my father is the CEO of Guarantee Trust Bank. And all of a sudden, you just come and say, ah, how now? Let's go home. And say, you are falling my hand. That's how spirits work. When they enter a place, they search for who knows them. When they don't find, they start roaring. But when others step in, they say, oh, you give us way. We have kingdom business to do. Kingdom business to do. Having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete. See, let me tell you. If I were faking this thing, you would have known now. I have laid hands on too many people with cancer to not have received it myself. I've laid hands on too many people with communicable diseases not to receive it myself. I have done this ministry work for a while. Medical science gives us a time range when exposing yourself to certain things will destroy you. This thing is in your presence. I do all of that. No. It's called Zoe. The life of God. There is a record that we have it. Wow rising gradually to walking in the fullness of it but it's no excuse for darkness when we see them we stamp them say amen. amen but are you serving your way because not everybody qualifies to enjoy this thing we're talking about there are people who your service your service cannot rise as a memorial unto god isaiah 18 let's walk this and go to the next one quickly we have to pray Isaiah 38, sorry. Isaiah 38, media help us. Isaiah 38, let's look at a very interesting story here about a death sentence over a man by a true prophet. Isaiah chapter 38. Are we there? Let me read it. When I get to a place where all of us will join, I would let us know. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. Sick unto what? New Living Translation. Don't turn there, but our new... Don't, don't give us New Living Translation. Modern day translation is an incurable disease. An incurable disease is a disease unto death. It says, in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him saying, listen... Thus saith who? Not a demon. The Lord. Set thine house in order for thou shalt and not live. Isaiah was not a false prophet. He spoke from the mouth of the Lord. Let's see something that Hezekiah did. Verse 2. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord. Let's see the content of the prayer. Verse 3. And he said, remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee how i have walked before you in truth and with a perfect heart and i have done that which is good in thy sight when you read about as Ez ezekiah you find out that he served god with his life his resources were coming to that and hezekiah wept so lord is this how you reward your servants will i serve you and now die that men will say i served you and you killed me 
Verse 4. Then came the word of the Lord again to Isaiah saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add, Unto thy days fifteen years. Verse 6. I will deliver thee and this city out of the king of Assyria and I will defend this city. He reminded God. Do you have the petitions that you take before God and say, Lord, look at the devil destroying my family. I'm a faithful servant in your house. Lord, last week, hundred people got born again and oh God, I was part of those who led them outside. Remember, and God arises and says, No, you are putting pressure on my integrity. I must arise and act for you. Hallelujah. It must be willing, it must be joyful, and you must serve God with diligence. Diligence. You don't serve God with laziness and slackness. You don't serve God with slothfulness. You serve Him willingly. You serve Him joyfully. You serve Him diligently. Let's go to the next one. The next dimension of kingdom service. So there's soul winning and establishment. There is service in the house of God. And then number three, kingdom investments serving god with your resources kingdom investment one of the strangest mysteries of exemption kingdom investment it literally is an investment serving god with your resources serving god with your resources Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17 popular scripture we all know it it says cry yet saying thus saith the Lord Zechariah not Zephaniah cry yet saying thus saith the Lord my cities he says through prosperity shall be spread abroad and I will yet comfort Zion. Cry yet say, Thus saith the Lord, My cities through prosperity Shall yet be spread abroad, And the Lord shall yet comfort Zion, And shall choose Jerusalem. My cities shall through prosperity, Listen, I want you to know that financial resources and other kinds of human resources play a major role in kingdom advancement don't mind those who tell you money is not important in kingdom advancement no that's not true that's a wrong theology we have money mongers and we have those who are frustrated with the issue of money both of them are wrong money is important just like the anointing financial resources are important for kingdom activities and god's system is such that listen men wholeheartedly commit their lives their resources and everything to the building of the kingdom by faith in obedience and total trust and they in turn schedule seasons of untold breakthroughs and blessings is how the system of God works. My cities through prosperity shall be spread abroad. So whoever contributes with his resources to making the house of the Lord built, to making sure that the activities of kingdom advancement keep on going, that person qualifies for certain blessings. Please give us Psalm 112 verse 9. NIV if we can get it. Psalm 112 verse 9. I love the rendition uh, that the NIV puts. If we can have that, Psalm 112 verse 9. This is the reason why many people, Psalm, did I say 112? 122, I beg your pardon. 1, 
22 psalm 122 verse 9 i like us to read one to read for the sake of the house of the lord our god i will seek your i seek it not just to buy jeeps and cars houses vacations that's too small a reason to subject yourself through the stringent laws of wealth but it is for the sake of your house i will seek your prosperity i'm trusting god to bless me with resources oh god so that i will contribute in getting your activities done listen please the message of prosperity is not a demonic message there is such a message called the message of prosperity and it is not a demonic message it may have been taught selfishly it may have been taught inaccurately but that does not stop the fact that there is such a message and it is part and parcel of the truths of the gospel that believers must learn and know is God's economic system where people empower the advancement of his kingdom and receive rewards listen listen kingdom investment has nothing to do with just tight kingdom investment is not tithing kingdom investment is not worship offering kingdom investment is a sacrifice a commitment between you and god to commit your resources on a continuous basis to seeing that his house is built to seeing that his kingdom is advanced the gospel is preached lives are saved this is a commitment it is not a special thing that you gather believers and say okay right now all of you bring one one thousand naira it is the inaccurate understanding of the things of god that sometimes will have to necessitate those special events listen part of the financial system of my life every major money that comes to me i know that investing in the kingdom is part and parcel of my spiritual growth process no special event if x amount comes to me my tight god's portion is going i will never come to the house of god empty-handed i come with my worship offering joyfully there is a portion for my parents to bless their life there is a portion to bless people and improve on their lives but then there is a huge and i mean huge truly for the advancement of the kingdom i have a list of men of god i have a list of ministries that i sow into their life perpetually continually some per week some per month continually except resources don't come not big some of them don't even know me kingdom investment with all humility and i say this just to let some of us know not just to brag or make noise there are many programs that have happened in this city many programs that have happened around this nation and parts of the world that i just keep quiet i just carry a seed as god directs and i say you go and sow go and give that man of god sometimes i say just tell him no problem there's no need announcing it sometimes i say don't even tell them just go and sow this seed and i'm happy to see that my seed is saving souls i'm happy to see that someone's life posters are printed through my seed i'm happy this water now is probably someone's seed you see that this pulpit right now is someone's seed a commitment to contributing resource wise to see in the kingdom you don't have to wait i keep challenging believers listen i wish i'm not the one teaching you this but i love you too much i have a scriptural obligation to teach you the truth and that i will do regardless of how you feel i will teach you the truth don't think this is some system to coerce money no 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 no. i fear god too much to do that but i have to tell you the truth because it's what i'm also doing a true kingdom investor finds a need in the house of god he's not told about the need you find it the same way you find a need in a rich man's life 
out of psychophancy to get project i said honorable i've seen that you've been wearing only two shoes and he says you won't believe that i have only three he said i brought five you see that you brought five because you are hoping that you will buy relationship and it will work for you hallelujah find a need in the house of god look three of us let's come together koinonia needs more cameras how much is it x amount let's come together let's do an inventory consult with these people the house of god oh i think that i have two thousand naira and my two thousand naira can buy three chairs in the house of god you come on friday dancing with three chairs three breakthroughs in your life as you drop it a sinner sits on that chair and the fire from heaven falls on him as he's getting born again let me tell you god is issuing a warning he sat on that chair to be blessed find a need don't wait until you are told you find a need ah, i look at this what can i do find a need but many believers don't they just sit down you need to see how believe offering time is, is one of the most irritating time in many churches offering time and somebody just brings out something and tells his wife or whoever do you have says, no, just, just take. they bring out 1000 they put it back they bring out 500 they put it back they bring out 200 naira the new one they put it back then they carry the old ones say, oh, shall come and drop it and god is watching as soon as they finish they move straight to chicken republic and burn five thousand take ice cream for starters take all of this and call friends sometimes who are not godly let's come and enjoy and god sees your passion and then you lift your voice i love you lord god is said you're a liar that's that's not true you don't love me god so loved the world that he gave is that same attitude that follows men in marriage is that same attitude that follows in everything when you love without giving you a liar and a hypocrite true love comes with giving passionate sincere giving let it be a sweet sweet sound in your ears when i lift up my seed before god as i sow those seeds i am happy it is my joy that i want to live my life in such a way that every month i'll be buying a bus for a church somewhere what a joy to get to a church and see and say what is your budget and they say we need a new cathedral how much 20 million and you say okay let me just have a private discussion with the pastor and say pastor just give me the plan send your engineers to supervise in three months that church is lifted quietly noiseless contribution you think god will allow me to will if you have a helper like that will you allow men kill him if your job is to pray for that person and the devil and god wakes you and says the devil wants to take his life oh no come on you will get an energy you never knew you had you will pray and say god it's better to take one of my legs than to kill that man but apostle i don't have much you will never have much you give your way to that much you give your way to that much you can sit down and say look what can i do for the worship team we have just hundred thousand sam this is for the dressing of the worship team so they look good this is to buy time for the media department you don't have to come and say make sure apostle knows i'm the one you have you have killed and scattered and destroyed your potential we live in a very political uh, christianity where people like announcement and accolade we are now announcing that chief a and b is the one who gave that golf outside Please, you have destroyed everything he says you give let your right hand not know what you i'm not saying there's no place of honor don't get me wrong what can i do for you my lord i want you to know my heart is yours it's not a question of what you can do for me but what can i do for you that's love that's genuine 
love by the grace of god let me tell you and i say it with all humility i don't want you to do it for me there are people here people here i know they have committed themselves with resources to say joshua selman it should never it should never happen that you are looking for water and my seed does not come see let me tell you i say it with all humility i'm a blessed man i'm not talking about your money at all i don't serve god because of money not at this level god has been faithful are you getting what i'm saying now so don't think it's some coercion so that somebody will just bring an envelope no no but i'm telling you you don't practice this you will not be exempted though, from the woes where the heavens of men will be brass and their earth iron sacrifice don't listen to these junks that people have, have been warning you about people who don't fear god and don't know anything about god to be carnally minded the bible says is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace carnal people come and discuss all kinds of things you don't serve god with your resources you will serve sickness you will serve trouble you will serve divorce you will serve pain And serve your way and vow your way i think i've shared that testimony here how that there was a particular uh, man of god it was years ago he gave this testimony a very true one him and his wife god is my witness they were in a meeting and i think they needed to roof a church or something like that and whilst they were there the man of god preaching was challenging people to sow into the work of god you know genuinely not out of eye service and manipulation genuinely and the Lord just spoke to the man clearly that he should give up his house, his real house, real estate, his property, to give up his house and move to a rented house. Can you imagine that costly instruction? He didn't know how to tell his wife. So according to him, he said as soon as he held his wife's hand, she started crying because the Lord had told her the same thing too. Brothers, may you marry a wife like that oh, that will allow you to obey God you marry a bad wife you will not be exempted may you marry a wife if all you are looking for is figure eight and you don't open up your spirit to pick signals that god can say this is what we are doing and your wife will say i may not understand but i trust you i trust the word of god upon your life say amen, amen. and be serious about what you just had go around and choosing nonsense and destroy your life because to be carnally minded is what then you won't know now by the time the euphoria of young life is gone you will start seeing what it means to live with a man or a woman who does not fear god god says go left they say no we are going right god says go right and you perish like jonah hallelujah I believe I have had a chance to repent had he not married Jezebel because he looked like a calm king she looked like a wicked demon that would not allow him to... he looked like a calm person but her presence there it's not a good thing so he held his wife's hand and they agreed the will of God be done how many of you know that if God gives you and your wife that kind of instruction relatives will kill you even Christians they say which church first are you going to give the house that man that is already rich you, you people will never stop becoming fools in nigeria because to them giving is helping then they will now tell you we have the poor and the needy in the villages you don't give a poor man to be rich you give a rich man to be rich learn this principle you bless poor men to secure the help of God he says to answer you in the days of trouble but when you want to rise the law of honor you sow to a man that has attained the dimension you desire don't give poor people expecting to be rich all that superstitious thing that they say meet a leper and drop one naira is witchcraft you drop it you will be broke I tell you you sow into an anointing to rise I didn't sow to people less than me to be where I am you so higher the queen of sheba knew that's why she carried gifts and came to solomon do you bless a rich man that's why you are sowing into the anointing the very anointing that god has so you rise up to his realm 
people do foolish things in the body of Christ with no spiritual intelligence and then we are doing zealous things but they don't bring results to us giving is helping so many people say the poor and the needy Jesus said the poor you will always have with you you will always have don't be a hypocrite you will always have with you the person who is writing that junk journalism he didn't sell his ipad to give the poor he used an ipad of 200,000 to write nonsense about men of god you see that be careful how you hear don't let people make the truth the simplicity of the gospel become just a social discussion a spiritual man is not just a homo sapien a spiritual man hails from above with another life and another economy you have to understand this they obeyed God and they gave up the house according to him all hell broke loose everywhere went haywire you know people will insult the woman you mean you cannot advise your husband what a stupid woman the man look at your wife and children and when they went to a rented apartment gave up that i think they sold it and moved the church oh I, I hope i'm getting the story right and then i think he said that god made a vow to him that he will never need to buy a house again in his life never and that man at the time he was speaking i think he was saying he had well over 10 houses none 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 came from his money one not part and then you complete it somebody builds a house furnishes it and say god instructed me now you see people operating at such a realm you don't know what they gave up you give up things to go up oh. you give up things to go up you don't carry luggages to go up spiritually financially leadership you when you see people rising find out what they left behind nobody rises with luggages you must be willing to give up some things to rise in the anointing you must give up some things to rise in ministry you give up some things to rise serving God with your resources there are instructions today I don't like talking about my personal life and the instructions that God has given me but those close to me know my life is like a madman i am a reckless giver if you are close to me and we are sharing accounts you will take me to court because the lawyer will even be tired because you will not know what to say again i don't know how many times i have emptied my accounts at the instruction of the lord to zero zero i'm not talking there is one secret one somewhere sincerely god is my witness as a ministry we have done it there was a year God gave an instruction at the start of the ministry to empty everything. I told the finance department, oh yeah, God said it, let it go. It was less than one week. How many days? Less than one week. Almost 10 times that amount came back. Do you believe this? Into the kingdom. Lord, this is for your glory. There are times, and I say this with all humility, the finance department will send budget of another department and I tell them, don't bother. What a joy. It's not because this is, this is not my ministry. This is God's ministry. Right? I only lead this ministry by the privilege of his election. But it is God's ministry. But what a joy. I tell them, don't worry. Don't worry. Sometimes I see the concern in the treasurer's face and I'm happy. I will never pity myself as to remain at my current level no what are you willing to give up to go up god is speaking to somebody what are you willing to give up to exempt you let me tell you there are people seeds i know is a covenant with god darkness will come and loom around them they will come out like smoke before the fire nothing will happen because the investments they have made for the kingdom is like it says it's, it's like the blood of Abel crying. There is blood through their sacrifice that is crying to the heavens. You try to walk against me, you are, you are a joker. I tell you, I say this with all humility. You are a joker. It's not even me that will fight. It's the altar that is full of seeds. When you hear people cry and say, my altar, that thing is not some superstitious thing. An altar is a place of sacrifice. It's a threshing floor. Bishop Oyedeko, I think it was him or somewhere in living faith. A story was being given about, I think it was a woman who was a tither or a giver in the house of God. And armed robbers came 
they were knocking i think they were about to shoot the man or the woman something like that and i think is it the giving booklet or the tight booklet the person brought and dropped it on the ground and said the armed robbers should cross it and come and kill them and they could not do anything when you engage them they walk when you imagine them they don't walk when you sit down and wish that they walk they don't walk they must be engaged there are things i have prayed for once that came into my life with speed there have been times in my life where i cried that god defend me and i prayed once over it because god said no problem you've got this covered your seeds do you have a sacrifice like hezekiah in this time of exemption lord i want a job lord everybody in my family is not making it except me thank god i'm a christian have you forgotten that your elder one is a pastor and still his wife has not given birth he's he's winning souls and his wife has not given birth sacrifice sacrifice hannah gave her home before the child came and said god look this is not about me oh. this is about you before the child arrives i've dedicated him and god says that's it i give it to you i know people here who have sacrificed please come Ejimi. let me tell you something about Ejimi. when we were preparing for a crusade the first time among all of us sorry i'm having to say this i know he may not like it he was the only one among us that time that had a computer a desktop right then he used to make shirts the poster of the first crusade he designed it by himself with joy as a sacrifice and then i remember when we that time we needed a lot of money and you know we're trusting god you know people were sowing but it was a need and he did two things now i'm not saying you should do it but he did two things that i will never never forget number one he carried his laptop his his computer i was just passing suleiman and i saw notice and i saw the description of the laptop and i met him i said why with jesus joy he said no that laptop must go we need the money i've told you about our ladies who would climb trees they were members of the worship team they were members of welfare they were members of everything the ladies because there was no money to buy firewood then with joy they would sing we still have the videos that time people like victor and aaron Aaron was then please stand up Aaron Aaron was in charge of protocol this Aaron you see Victor that you see the head of protocol he was in technical then that time they would carry wood on their head and then dance hey -oh. that was the song they used to sing hey -oh. dancing hey -oh. my season has come I remember hold on 11 years ago 11 years ago pouring their heart to the kingdom are we together see brothers and sisters i remember his mother dear mother of blessed memory one silver watch the most expensive watch then i had ever used remember when his mom went to london and bought it and said they should give me the day god asked me to sew that thing i wanted to die but I still gave it. Hi, God. But I gave it. I mean, it went. I'm glad it went. I'm glad it went. It would have been the only one I still have till now. The mother, alongside other women in Lagos, mobilized welfare packages. Remember? And they brought all of that. I remember that time, Aaron. We went with two luxurious buses when we were going to for the for the crusade in abuja how they mobilized it i do not even know we're praying and planning bless you and thank you jimmy so don't be surprised when his children are intelligent and happy he served his way to that his children will never beg for bread not when i'm alive even if he decides to be careless with his life it's too late not when I'm alive. If he decides today that I will never do anything kingdom again together with his wife, I say, I, I, I agree to, for you to be an extra luggage in my life. Let's keep going. 
when we are talking about koinonia 10 years from now will your name be mentioned no 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 don't say don't this is not an issue of amen i'm asking you a serious question will you say will you say listen listen will you say this speaker came because my seed was there oh i remember the tie that this gentleman used right people giving their hearts and their lives graduates standing as if they are foolish you think these guys are idiots for just standing like this working some of them have come from their various workplaces and it's evening there are people who come in every week from other states it's a sacrifice see let me tell you the, the moment you find yourself complaining about the house of god know that that spirit is there to destroy you because everything god designs in the kingdom is for your good not for his good he's already self-sufficient don't forget el shaddai he said if you will not praise me it is within my power to raise up stones god don't replace me i'm still available and i'm willing there is such a thing like replacement because now I neither hot or cold, I will spew thee from my mouth. For as long as I live, I will not only praise God, my resources must join me and praise God. What use do I have? Having cars when the house of the Lord is not advanced? Real estate, real nonsense. The real estate is a kingdom estate. Traveling on vacation spending a million dollars over a week no except i've done something satisfactorily for the kingdom there is a minimum of amount of offering that i cannot give i will be wicked and unfair to god and to his faithfulness in my life if at this level he has brought me financially i give god certain levels of offering no there is an amount i trust god to get to a target of an amount that I give God never less than it if it is in your heart God will bring it in your hand if at this level I squeeze 1,000 I squeeze 2,000 give God as an offering I'm a wicked person how much do I eat with how much are my clothes and then the house of God 2,000 3,000 me no there are some of you as you are sitting here god has lifted you what you're giving has remained so your giving drew you back because it said your giving told god you were not yet qualified and god said if your giving says remain i can't say you should rise remain i have given dangerous seats in my life I have sown seeds on behalf of my parents for their longevity. I have sown seeds on behalf of my children unborn. I have sown seeds on behalf of this ministry. Ask those who know me, this ministry is a giving ministry. The economic system of Koinonia is a crazy system. That's why many times I thank God for the way church runs. Because if it's America, I'm sure they would have sued us now. Say, no, 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 no. This and that and that. You sow that seed and God gives you faithful people. He may not give you money back, but he will give you one person that will reduce headache. There has not been any case in this ministry that has starved me of sleep to say somebody just came and is stubborn. No. Parents, you can use sacrifice to bail every nonsense out of your children. When a woman gives birth, a man buys a jeep for her which is wonderful right when a child takes first position they fly him to hawaii rather than doing that invest in his future first and say lord this is for my child i buy this speaker for the house of god not nonsense not change not carry torn clothes and say lord i give it in your house you don't give god rubbish no you give god i will not give god anything that will not cost me anything I look forward to times oh god sees my heart when if i hear any church make noise they want something 
before they say anything is provided and God will open doors for you beyond your imagination if your if your purpose of financial prosperity is just to wear designers and fly private jets is too small a reason for God to rend the heavens and give you a blessing that you will not have room enough Lord if you're healing someone in this city don't do it without me that's my prayer Lord don't do it without me oh Lord if you're changing someone in this nation please don't do it without me don't do it without me oh may 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 it never come to a point in my life when my seed stops advancing the kingdom please tell me what else will i be doing with it servicing sickness servicing poverty as i'm speaking to you you see your greed rising you are trying to believe what i'm saying but your greed is fighting you i wish you would push this thing away no sir god wants to help you i show you the mysteries of blessings that people just rise up god has said it's the year of trial because you are still going to see people rise up in strange ways you will see it's already happening to people you are hearing testimonies of people and you're saying what exactly are they doing that they are rising because in the world system you have they have to show you the boss and the salary slip but this one the, the boss is invisible the business is by faith but the reward is the only thing you see don't do it without me don't do it without me sacrifice of your life your resources sometimes when i'm going for ministrations i'm so tired sleeping in the car or sleeping in the plane and i'm asking myself why why am i doing this do i have to do this and i just remember it's a privilege i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure in worshiping you lord take my body my soul my money and breathe on me he has to take everything take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me listen if you give God your spirit you give God your brain and leave your pocket you are carnal and a liar because where your treasure is that's where your heart is are we together my life my finances and every part of me is open for his scrutiny his probing and his instructions any day any time without prior notice belongs to him We are going to pray you want to be exempted there is a price i know many of you just believe i will just tell you be exempted in jesus name brothers and sisters there is a price i won't lie to you i fear god too much to deceive you what is the disadvantage of not being exempted write it down the disadvantage of not being exempted was in the scripture we considered with Cain. He said, all who see me will slay me. He didn't say all men, all things that see me will slay me. The disadvantage, the major disadvantage of not being exempted is that you become a victim of anything and everything. Write it down. You become a victim of anything and everything although redeemed although potentially speaking you should not be a victim of those things but you become a victim of anything and everything without hope for recovery the bible says these people have been alienated from the life of god through ignorance it says having their understanding darkened they have been alienated from the life of god 
alienated from the life of God through ignorance listen it's a risk to give birth to a child and not know whether that child will live long or not it's too risk if you've lost a child I, I my heart goes out to you don't feel bad but I'm telling you there is a way out please listen to me it's a risk not knowing that you come out today and go back remember there are those who have done it we are not the first to do it remember our song we are surrounded by many they have crossed this river there are men who have lived that long I looked at my father and my mother one time that I went to greet them and I was just smiling. Do you know one thing I know will keep my parents long? Thanksgiving. If there is anything I've learned about my father, my father is a man who can thank God in a way that will annoy you. He would thank you. know how old people thank God? They thank God for things you consider to be silly. We young people say, please, if it's the air you breathe, is we thank God until the day you breathe through a tube for one month you stay and breathe in and out you will say thank you i've had the opportunity to go to hospitals and to see people i remember the most recent i think it was sometime last year went to see one, went to see one of our ladies and i went there close to her bed i watched somebody die i watched it the process at that point all your greed follows you to the grave all your seeds that have refused to be given like the rich fool the consequences of not using your resources he said this day he sat down and built a barn and put the money and said my soul you have money in gt bank you have money in zenith you have real estate you are a millionaire fine rest and god says thou fool your soul today today will be required of you money does not follow men to the grave hmm. are you hearing what i'm telling you pay attention and leave can you know that your life will be great oh i'm standing today now one shoe one bag one room one stove one pot but i'm sowing my way is there a guarantee that tomorrow this loss will work for me and then i will be the one to be able to turn back and be a blessing ask me i have the answer that's how we rose that's why when people are bragging and saying we are this we are the intellectuals have had this we went to this some of us know how we came we served our way through the mercy of god and look what god has done today do you know why it is marvelous in our eyes because it is the lord's doing if it's a man's doing is too small to be marvelous in your eyes you are marvelous here you are marvelous here you are marvelous here marvelous here that's what men will begin to say about your life that you are marvelous yeah. You are marvelous yeah. You are marvelous yeah. Never allow any man despise you You may not have it now But you are walking your way Sister, you don't need to prove to anybody You can buy nothing the word of God will prove itself continue you may not have what it takes wear your one shoe honorably don't borrow anybody's shoe and tie to prove any point there's too much truckload of proofs coming in the future I know you are a man of God you have only one tie iron it with honor and so so into the kingdom don't buy suits you are not wise if you do that no I want to package myself so that I will look like apostle. You are cheating yourself. You won't look like me soon. Let me just tell you the truth. You will between me and you is a ladder of obedience. You will have to climb it diligently and by the grace of God. My job is to shorten your journey, not take it away. That journey is there. You will walk it. 
that's why I don't pity people when they cry sometimes it's good to let the tears roll I love you but I cannot stop your journey I can only reduce it so sometimes people cry and say apostle nothing is working and they think I will clean the tears I say no let it flow because to, if it does not flow you will not clean somebody's own it's not wickedness there are times I've seen people in situations I want to bless them and the Lord said no don't interrupt what I'm doing in their life they are, I'm, I'm showing them something and I'm saying Lord but they know I can help them say no no I'm teaching them trust just like it's happening to someone right now every door of your helpers have closed God is saying it's deliberate oh. don't even try to pray for open doors because I'm the one closing it to teach you I'm teaching you how to rejoice in the storm I'll praise you in the storm remember I will lift my hands you are who you are no matter where I am and every tear that falls you hold in your hands listen let me tell you something I'm preaching a message to you now koinonia don't be ashamed of your tears let it flow let everyone see you cry so that when you rejoice they will say you cheated you followed the laws you cried mommy you may cry but cry in faith cry honorably as you sow the seed there is he that weepeth bearing precious seeds i remember the day the lord asked me to sow 80 percent of my clothes everything 80 percent 80 percent of everything before then he had asked me to give everything i've shared with you the testimony 2007 in port Harcourt, i carried everything i had home and abroad plus the rechargeable lantern that was all i had laid my hands and prayed on it for three hours dragged it to church then god decided to disgrace me i was in the overflow outside when people were giving god said i should sit down when people were now giving cars and lands when they finished god said you can now go i was moving ladies were looking at me guys were looking at me but i was looking at my future oh yes i was oh yes i was and i went and dropped that thing the bag was not i don't even know what they did with it when they dropped that bag i went back and sat down i did it for his house and the lord spoke to me and said my son from today you have entered wealth men walk by mysteries my mother is one of the happiest people around it's not just because we're alive it's because of the quality of the children she has we're discussing with hgb today I bless my parents till the day Jesus comes till the day Jesus comes without fail whether they obey scriptures or not I am obedience to them the same way the priests they, they receive tithes on behalf of the Levites have received it for them may you do that for your parents so may your obedience today make your parents live long so that you will take away this stress that is killing parents young now you see a parent 70 years they can't walk because the son at 40 still coming mommy please can you borrow me hundred thousand say how much is my pension he said just give me are you determined to be exempted we are going to pray sister take my message seriously barrenness is still real Barrenness does not just come on bad ladies who live wayward lives. There are sincere people. You can start exempting yourself now. Don't wait until the day you get married and try and try and try and nothing happens. Gentleman, don't wait until the day a landlord harasses you. You say, I'll start giving. Start now. Don't wait and say, Apostle, but I've, I've not, I'm not even in a relationship. That's the good time to start sowing that seed. Your seeds can go ahead of your future. Lord, I carry this sacrifice. It's for you. It's for you. Ask Ejimi. He's a witness. What did I do with all my scholarships? Not once did I. I was on two scholarships. I was on mobile. I was on total final health. Then they used to call it. Then there was no GT bank in Zaria. We we'll go to Kaduna and cash it. Ask him. He's a witness. Everything went for the kingdom. Other people were buying laptops. They were buying this. I used my scholarship for the kingdom. 
behind every story every glory there is a story don't just sit down desiring men's results this is what this covetousness in the body of christ oh god i like Jimmy's watch i like this i like pastor alpha's shoe stop those things that that's not how to claim you claim through obedience obedience we are really going to pray seriously because i want you to be exempted listen to me brothers and sisters the danger that looms around there is real danger psalm 91 tells us there is danger on your children born or unborn from the womb now children get mysteriously sick father does not have that sickness mother does not have that sickness from that period of conception to delivery the child comes out with one kind of nonsense i remember one of our ladies who gave birth to one baby he later died you know i remember them meeting me they gave it to the baby the baby was an imbecile you know nothing neck will not move hand will not move nothing and i remember the pain the mother used to go through i went back to god and i said lord what happened what happened and then i told them i said look sacrifice is the last bus stop in this kingdom when all else fail you sacrifice is a master key it will tear that heaven open I show you a mystery there are times i've come to certain places that i know some doors will not open i prayed they didn't open i fasted they didn't open and i reached out through intelligence i took seeds that shook heaven and i swung those doors open and solomon loved the lord and solomon said gather me one thousand animals they said sir are you dashing people he said don't ask me any question bring knife slaughter them number one number two he says spill the blood there was a field god kept watching he said let's watch how far he will go when he got to 500 he didn't stop god said my god what is this who is this man who gave him this kind of heart to sacrifice immediately god came to him and said solomon you called me sacrifice has a voice it can call god I'm telling you a mystery some of you are in situations right now your education cannot bring you out it will not bring you out you are in a situation where you are about to break through something the pastor in your family with all his anointing did not was not exempted from that trouble bad luck people rise to certain levels the moment they reach there they crash you are number seven out of 13 people nobody's walking and you say i got first class you better switch there is a mystery of exemption everybody that married in your family the lifespan of the marriage was four years they prayed in tongues the marriage is scattered because there is a spirit covenanted authoritatively it takes sacrifice i have done this for myself i have done this for koinonia hi brothers and sisters you are sitting on blood you are not just sitting on chairs you are sitting on tears you are sitting on sacrifices that brought you that's what brought you here it's not joshua selman's revelation sacrifice many people cannot do this thing it's hard that's why very few are exempted i never told you it will be easy i won't lie to you there is he that weepeth there are things this man has done there are sacrifices i remember one time i'm sorry i'm having to say it. he carried a seed together with his wife and i knew this was a serious sin there are people here who have done it sacrifices unto death a kind of sacrifice that when you finish you say god i hope this thing is right i hope it works i told you about my mother my mother almost brought tears out of my eyes i think it was towards the end of last year she said her death will my mother said if she dies any benefit that will come they should transfer it to koinonia a woman alive covenanting her will for god where is the devil that will kill her that's the realm when you say for for me to live is christ and to die is king listen 
we rise in this kingdom through sacrifice we exempt ourselves through sacrifice strange sacrifice i have watched it open doors for me i have watched it open doors for people great men that you see in this nation the secret is not just the sacrifice of prayer their seeds have gone if i tell you i don't practice this i you, you, you those close to me know i am a bank of walking seeds nothing just is i do i send it to my future i send it fast i may cry sending it hallelujah I was talking to a Jimmy and I was telling him I said I have so much recharge card in my phone I don't know what to do he asked me how much I said 41,000 what will I do with a recharge card my phone loaded with 41,000 one naira is not for me one naira is not for me what will I do with it you are not ready for blessings till your seed speaks oh you mean you are enjoying no no when blood touches the earth, heaven must answer. Who said your family will never be rich? There is this cause of poverty. Hey, you have been giving, you just give 10,000, 10, give 10 naira. You are not ready to move. Oh, let me tell you the truth. There is a day you come and say, Lord, my children, I served idols. My father served idols. It was in idolatry I gave my life to Christ. I've not even stabilized my stand. I know these altars are fighting me. Therefore, I lift up a fortification. Gather unto me, my saints. Psalm 50 verse 5. Please give it to us. They that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. A covenant with me by sacrifice. Listen. You are at a phase in your life where you should not pity money listen listen to me wasteful spending is bad but fearful spending is demonic you don't spend your money buying shoe spend your money breaking altars spend your money breaking covenant leave all those shoes don't be foolish they will come prove any point to anybody lord i have watched my elder brother rubbish i watched my elder sister she got married and got mad this first day this will not happen oh i know it will not happen because i'm in koinonia if you don't do what koinonia people are doing you'll be surprised i'm showing you the secrets brothers and sisters let me tell you they will sit with you like this and tell you they are coming to jail you coming to take you to prison coming to take you to this you cannot pay your rent your sacrifice that's when you see that sacrifice is powerful there is a lady i don't know if she testified i have the text message in my phone i shared it with you Jimmy. two days ago her mother practically died and the girl said no 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 way and she called i think she may be a worker or so she sent a text i told her to come and share it by herself i don't know if she was a worker or whatever and do you know this lady said she said kai i can't use my faith again everything went bad and she sent me a text you know what she sent she said apostle i can't use faith i use the covenant you have with god do you know what i did i put the text i told you jimmy what i did i put the text and i threw it on my bed i said lord look at what this lady said her mother came back to life yesterday yesterday the text is still in my phone take over take over lord i've come to the end end of greed hallelujah hallelujah i have come listen listen till today they serve idols in my village till today they serve idols in my village with the reign of christianity you are not the first to have causes 
I told you demons used to oppress me. As a man of God, anointed, healing the sick, I went to pastors. I said, what is this thing that demons come to press me in the night? They said, I don't have faith. I said, what is faith? I've done everything they define faith to be. Brothers and sisters, there are certain altars that after you have prayed, I wish what I'm telling you is a lie. I know you are in Christ, but I show you the mysteries behind the pain of men. There are some seeds alone that will break some altars and smash it to pieces. And in one year, one year, when it was time to save man, Jesus Christ, God did not make a pronouncement. He dragged his son. When the son went to Golgotha, when his blood dripped, that's why no power, the only power that can overcome God is the power that can give a son with that same condition. Any other deity that can turn a God to become a son and sacrifice him will have more power than God. He looked around the heavens and found no one greater and he swore by himself. The seed shall bruise the head. The seed Please look at me. Look at me. If I have preached and I have told you a lie, may a curse come upon me and my children that are unborn. If I have manipulated you for any gain, listen, I don't care who you are, how old you are, what you read. If you want to rise above witchcraft in this life, you want to rise and match the head of the devil, it's not just your prayer and your voice. There is he that weepeth. You don't just drop money like that. The sacrifice is not in the money. It's the value on you. And tie it with an expectation. Lord, they say my womb will not open. You have seen three of your sisters barren. You are there jumping up and down and saying i am they are, they are not barren because they are devils they just do not understand the mystery of exemption koinonia is sitting upon this mystery that's why you see us rising by his grace those who don't understand we just think oh these people are just lucky there's no luck in this thing oh. there's no luck in this thing you will engage it there is a mystery there is a mystery that exempts men from all of these vicissitudes of life. Please, I want you to believe it in the name of the Lord God of heaven. And open up yourself. Because we are going to do some serious prayers. This night is not a night to just joke around. We came to pray. Within the few minutes we have to pray. I'd like you to pray. Remember, we are exempting ourselves. Rise up on your feet and in the next five minutes, I want you to blast in tongues as to one who is ready for exemption. Lord, it can't continue like this. Lord, my family cannot continue like this. Pray, pray. Pray. The Lord will honor you. You are in the presence of the mighty one. You are accessing secrets that will exempt you.
Alléluia. Alléluia. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it loud as and serious. Please be serious. Say, Lord Jesus. The yoke of suffering. Say it, the yoke of suffering. The yoke of hardship upon my family and upon my life. I command that it be lifted tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lift it out of your life. There is such a yoke upon families. Doesn't matter whether you are working or not. Doesn't matter whether you are in business or not. You keep blaming other people. Whereas the trouble is from you. Come on, believers, pray. Come on, believers, pray. Exception. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. I want you to pray three major areas in your life where that exemption must show immediately. Listen, there are many areas. Choose three areas in your life and pray. This is an instruction. Pray it with your heart. Mention it. Lord, this unfruitfulness. This, 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 my family. Mention them if it's your finances. I'm blasting tongues and say it must leave. It must leave. Prophesy, prophesy, his ears are open, prophesy, his ears are open, prophesy, his ears are open, prophesy, Exemption in this year of triumph, I provoke it. In this year of triumph, I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to pray and say, Lord, the attachment I have to money, the attachment I have to material things that will not let me sacrifice, take it away from my life. Please pray. You really need that separation. Canality. 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 Attachment to money, attachment to material things that will not allow you release resources. The fear of lack, the fear of resources finishing. Cause it, cause it. Malakata praskada barado shubris, ende prata lakoto sobrish karia. Everything given to God multiplies. It does not diminish. Everything given to God multiplies. It does not diminish. Hallelujah. Listen. 
there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights some of us will never experience progress in our lives we wake up in the morning we sleep late in the night we are sincere but nothing is working are we together yes every time a blessing comes trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything the moment you are rising spiritually how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that when you are rising satan doesn't fight you you will think you are victorious the programming he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down so he can as well allow you to rise and you find out for a season everything is working well because it's like a string you will reach a limit it pulls you back are we together oh i want to marry you no problem you will even be happy three days later everything scatters i'm going to give you a job and you find out that satan does not need to fight you he already fought you with the presence of jericho and god said guys the goal is not to stay in jericho but you can't let jericho stand and reach where you are going don't pity it bring it down there is a don't just look at the fence there are captives in that place there are treasures in that place and he said let me show you it is not by physical fighting you don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence brothers and sisters jericho sank flat the bible records it flat this is what is going to happen to many of us tonight that's why that's why i i told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals it's for families enough of this fruitless trying doing everything by strength there is a system in the kingdom are we together the priesthood there are some of us here we're ministry some of us probably travel for a long time we're men of god we love god but it looks like there is a peg brothers and sisters let jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be there are people who have experienced the defeat of jericho but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused jericho to fall for them they just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory so they can trivialize the existence of jericho jericho is real if you don't see it in your life a priesthood already brought it down for you are you hearing what i'm saying but everyone who must pass remember israel is god's own people what is the business between israel and Jer they had conquered other nations what do they need the treasures of jericho when you read your bible with an open heart you will see that there are gaps you have to be spiritual to get an explanation i fight i defeat jericho and i continue my journey but i carry rehab I carry treasures there is rehab there without rehab there is no Jesus without rehab the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry rehab mm. we look to Yahweh Yahweh I hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. soon going to pray the lord rejects saul as a king 
and now looks at David but there was no priest to confirm what God wanted the priest that was available still wanted Saul and David could not be king God Almighty had left Saul and wanted David Samuel said no I still want Saul and God remained helpless think about it God kept begging Samuel cooperate with me because David will never be king that God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark that's why you can have a dream you see yourself collecting a, a job letter you saw it in 2014 no priest 2015 no priest that your dreams show you Eden your life shows you Adulam there's a system of translation are we together and all of a sudden the Lord now spoke to Samuel he didn't quarrel Samuel he said Samuel how long will you keep weeping seeing that I have rejected Saul as king rise up carry your horn go to the house of Jesse go and anoint the next king of Israel paraphrasing and David remained there I'm sure David will be in the wilderness and say when will my change come the change was in a negotiation between God God already intended in God's mind this is the next king and the king will sit with sheep and say oh Lord when will my breakthrough come and God will say the day a priest comes all of a sudden the priest agrees and God's will continues moving a priest refuses and God remains Moses was wise he said Lord I already know you too well don't ever let us go here if your presence if that I could not go before us I'm not going no Moses said because my going is as good as wasting my time I, I, I know what is before us and he said my presence will go with you and I will give you rest rest is a gift are you hearing what I'm saying rest is a gift my presence will go with you and i through my presence will give you rest my presence will clear up the spirits and whatever you do when you read second chronicles 20 the same thing happened three kings came together to defeat the people of god and all of a sudden the bible says the priests and the musicians were now in front and they began to sing you are good and your mercies endure forever the ark started fighting them who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver and the bible says all of a sudden they turn can you imagine allies together when the ark starts fighting for you is fearful are we together fearful you are standing close to danger it never touches you before it touches you something touches it the priesthood the people started killing themselves and the Bible says everyone helped to kill another that's not a man fighting that's the ark fighting and all of a sudden when the last two were left he killed one and the ark said what are you waiting for and he carried the knife killed himself and when the people came they found gold they found treasures when the ark fights it fights thoroughly when you fight if your hand paints you like moses and start going down you see that they can defeat you but you carry the ark and let it begin to fight they kept the ark and they kept dagon these people brought an entity a god enshrined with spirits called dagon the bible did not show us there were any physical contact by morning dagon fell face forward on the ground the superiority of the presence of god above any enchantment and any ordinance when you see the ordinances that have been enshrined by occultism and all of these things prevail is because the ark has not been lifted tonight we have come in this place 
to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same jericho that causes barrenness it is still jericho the bible didn't say jericho do you know look at the interesting thing jericho fell flat but the woman who stayed in the fence how god delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand but the bible tells us everything fell down flat to break every chain break every chain break every chain Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. It's to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Listen, brothers and sisters, we're about to pray, but I plead with you in the name of the Lord. To believe this mystery as simple as it looks and you will watch the wonder in your life stop focusing on physical things you will cheat yourself a thousand times nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own if anything on earth stands there is a force keeping it there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain break every chain to break every chain Listen, the type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when Jericho is down. Anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down. Listen, I have seen anointed men and women of God, people I know love God with all their heart, but they can never prevail in ministry because they have been fighting physically they do everything and sometimes you wonder and say ah, look how great this brother is look how great this sister is is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it hallelujah listen people make all kinds of gifts for me as you can imagine people make all kinds of gifts and sometimes i see what people do and i'm shocked I say life is so unfair how can this brother this sister be this gifted and yet be begging and you see someone come out from somewhere and priesthood goes before him and in one week his life has changed they can even be sarcastic priesthood will make them take life for granted there is a system of ease that God wants to bring to your life please hear me there are families here listening you have done all you know why don't you allow god allow the ark come into your home tonight and let it go around jericho allow the ark come into your life tonight let it go around jericho and you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself hallelujah I was told recently about a young man very nice wonderful young man who loves god everything you know in life including good things fight him and recently i think something happened they stole a phone and the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy and he was sitting down the man kept the phone there and police came and took two of them together 
I got a text. The person sent me a text. And when he narrated everything that was happening, I usually don't call people back. But I was touched. I called him. I said, where are you? He said, Apostle, look at my life. Nothing works. I said, how did you get to the police station? He said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him. You think that's ordinary? Maybe that young man, breakthrough is coming for him. Another thief from somewhere steals, comes to drop a phone close to you. Does the police not have common sense to probe and they carry you together? Because there is a spirit coordinating this. It looks like coincidence. Someone just falls from a chair. Just a little chair like this. And all of a sudden, one side of him paralyzes. It's a lie. It's not that chair that paralyzed him. Be smart. People fell from trees plucking mangoes. And they were fine. They cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away. You fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg. No. A, a coincidence navigated. The chair was just the scapegoat. It's not about the chair. Tonight, we are going to pray. Before I begin to minister. You are going to say, Satan so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job i thought it was all about marriage i thought it was all about children i thought it was all about my background now i'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem provided jericho is standing there but joshua gather the priests gather the priests listen look at me i want you in the mind of your spirit look at that job issue look at that issue and say I will no longer be deceived you are not the problem the problem is jericho it is never that the business cannot work it is never that helpers cannot come once jericho is still standing here nothing can go in nothing can come out lift your voice and begin Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I challenge. I challenge the spirits. The spirit. The ordinances. The ordinances. The spiritual forces. The spiritual forces that are responsible. That are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I declare. I declare that victory must be established in life. Lift your voice and pray. Let's <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible tells us, listen, that we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man. The man, Jesus, he qualifies to be a priest, not the spirit, Jesus. The man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the Aaronic priesthood. The Bible says his priesthood is of a better covenant after the order of Melchizedek. A priesthood with no beginning, a priesthood with no end. That there is that eternal priesthood of Jesus. Listen carefully. We are talking about very deep foundational issues here. Jesus, the man, the priest that took his blood. The Bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all. Once and for all. The advocacy of that priesthood is superior. Listen. Every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says thou listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon Are we together? And so the Bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight. You will not need it. The moon, the sun and moon, they are important, but I'm introducing something. Jehovah, God himself, will be the light that sponsors your altar. The same way, listen, listen. That men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m. when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon and god says these things are inferior i come with another priesthood my own self the son of righteousness i am the light are we together i want you to be tired of what is happening in your life and family i tell you the truth when we begin to pray and i begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories cheap victories. amen this is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts do you know brothers and sisters listen let me teach you something for as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems, your frustration continues. I can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force. Hear me. All of them, the same electricity is causing this fan to run. The same electricity is causing the mic to work. If you want a shutdown, off the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministering Lord, visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family. Lift your voice and pray. Everyone that asks can receive it. Lord, visit the foundation. Why is ministry not working? Why is my spiritual life dying? Why am I not growing in the anointing? What is the mystery, oh God? Lord, why the circle of tragedies? One tragedy after another. 
one tragedy. Alléluia. 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 Please just, just be silent for a moment. I want to start ministering now. Let's just, the Lord is giving me instructions. Just, just be silent. Stand where you are. Um, something is happening inside, outside, everywhere. The Lord is showing me something very strange. Now, um, let me just describe what I'm seeing. I'm seeing something that looks like um, this thing people wear. What's the name? This thing that looks like a um, lady's thing that men wear. That, that looks like a... Yes, that, that thing. That's what I'm seeing on many people. And the Lord is telling me on everyone that I see that thing in. There is a very strange deliverance because that I'm hearing hidden glory. And I want to pray. Please, you don't, don't shout, don't do anything. Just let me flow. You start bringing those people out. I'm going to pray now for those group of people. I'm seeing it. Because I'm seeing that those people, no matter what you do, your glory is never seen. You will struggle and try. But nothing ever happens. Now in the name of Jesus... I stretch my hands just silence everywhere father I'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that I see by the power of priesthood I come as an act bearer an envoy tonight and Lord I decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free Restore their glory now. Jacos Kapatariata and Teketa Kaskotariataji. Brakatoka Tabalia. Hidden glory. That's what I hear in the spirit. Hidden glory. Hidden glory. There is glory, but covered in Jericho. Covered by the fence of Jericho. Pakapatakato Sabrakatalia. Everywhere, inside, outside. I'm praying now. Please just be sensitive. Let's, let's do what God is directing us to do. Tonight there must be total victory. Total victory. Now I'm praying for families. The anointing of God will come on individuals. But it is for families. It will come on you. Once that anointing comes on you now. Know that God is visiting your family. Lord I pray now. I release the sword the sword of the lord in the name of jesus to every family if there is a family here whose glory has been buried nobody rises where are they i decree and declare now by the anointing of the holy ghost parakata. i don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here but in the name of jesus the son of the living God in the name of Jesus I command now by the power of the Holy Ghost let there be emancipation emancipation for every family hidden glory hidden glory the Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and then we beheld his glory The Lord is still touching people. The Lord is still touching people. That's why you came. You have done the listening. Let me pray now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Something serious is going to happen here now. 
now i want to pray a very serious prayer the lord is leading me to pray this prayer i just had in my spirit altars of poverty hold on just keep your hands lifted father i'm praying you spoke to my ears altars of poverty if there is any family here in an ordinance under that cause nothing works there is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works in the name of jesus i declare right now by the fire of the holy ghost let there be deliverance now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost altars of poverty everywhere overflow one overflow two overflow three online if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege i decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight for all of you in front here i speak to the spirits you know my voice in the name of jesus and at the count of three you let them go now one two three go go out of them now out of every one of their destinies out of their lives Shekatos kabariata i invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives release their families now release their destinies now You know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision show something else in the name of jesus pray now lift your hands i declare the spirit that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the holy ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated i command now at the count of three be set free one two three be free now be free now be free now everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me hallelujah oh sephia 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 like sephia i'm hearing a name sephia who is that please let's let's hurry up there is a lot to do i want us to settle down really pray for the sick sephia who is that her eyes her eyes say her eyes 
Your name is Sophia. How about you, madam? The Lord will locate the person. I'm standing here and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord touching the person God wants me to speak to. All right. I'll pray for all of you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I deliver this lady now. This lady on red. I command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone. For you, it's over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be set free right now. Sophia, the Lord bring liberty. Liberty now. I command those altars to leave you in the name of Jesus Christ the anointing of the Holy Ghost bad luck bad luck I take it out of your life the spirit of I'm seeing a lot of bad luck I take it out of your life now release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there is a lady a physical person appeared to you in the room this is a woman whose face you know like a relative physically where is that person please someone uh, you were not dreaming appeared to you and there was a conversation from that day your life never became this please don't be ashamed i want to pray for you please don't waste our time we have a lot to do the lord is ministering to me someone appeared i'm not saying you were in a dream this thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical who is that person i want to pray for you please when you find that person let the person come quickly. Who is Ola? I'm hearing a name, Ola. Ola. I don't know if that's the full name, but there's Ola. O-L-A. There's someone with that name, Ola. Please don't come out if it's not your name. Who is this? Huh? Your name is Allah. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Rejoice. Break through us. Come to your family. This lady. I'm, I'm Kai. Look at the evil and the witchcraft I see over this lady's family. All these people are, please help me find out. Why are they here? All of them, their names are Allah. Interesting. Come. That lady with cap. Come. Your salvation has come. Come. This lady with, lift your hands. Over now over now over now calm down madam come i'm seeing what happened yes a woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be able physical physically are you seeing what i'm saying look at this when was that last year may she appeared face to face and tell me it shall never will be well with you no matter how whatever you take that you are not feeling fine and from that hold on from that day something started moving in your body it will move and come to your back and come to your chest area look at this are, are you seeing a swelling here you are seeing this a woman appears to her i prophesy to someone here anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life i curse those people now i curse those people now i curse those people now by the anointing of the holy ghost madam i deliver you now in the name of jesus christ be set free now in the name of jesus the living and the dead don't have anything in common in the name of jesus the lord is speaking to me there are some of you all you see is dead people all you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people i'm prophesying lift your hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on such people now in the name of jesus if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead by the fire of the holy ghost i command a separation now the spirit of hades i speak to you the spirit of Hades, Christ has triumphed over you. Oh, death, take away your sting. Take away your sting.
Hallelujah. There are a number of you here. I presume you are all Ola, including this gentleman on wheelchair. That's your son. That's your brother. What happened to him? What happened to him? Accident. Since when? 2015. And he paralyzed you. You can't move now. Oh dear. We are going to pray for the sick. But I want to pray for Ola now. Just, just stand. Bring for me the person I'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now. Aside from this lady, there is, there is an anointing coming on one of you. Let me speak to that one person right now. I'm seeing a closed door. This is someone's destiny. It looks like I'm holding the air, but I'm seeing that I'm holding a padlock in the spirit. Whose destiny is that? Among these people standing. Open, 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 open now. I command that destiny. Open. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You came alone? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't worry, I'll pray for the sick, sir. If, I'm, if I don't talk, are you a last, sir? No, don't, don't come out until I ask you. This is witchcraft. You would have died since last year, June. Yes, sir. It's God that kept you. I will pray for you. I've seen your case already. If I don't pray for you, in three months, you will not be walking again. This is stroke. What is wrong with you? Yes, sir. All my body. This is what I'm saying. I'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again. We have to pray. This is witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Come, my dear. This lady. I'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical, in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing an old woman. Hold my hands. What fellowship. The exchangers of destiny. I hold the hands of this lady. And I declare right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be a restoration. A very beautiful girl in the physical. But I'm seeing the face of an old woman. Be free now. In the name of Jesus. I command the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life. I command that your destiny be restored. Your destiny be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you standing here. My, my brother. This gentleman come. What's your name? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a printer. Sir. You are a what? Printer, printer. Nothing is working in your life. I need to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I break this embargo I see upon your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This row, I'm seeing deliverance. Chicken feather. That's what I'm seeing. Chicken feather. This is an ordinance over a family. Just this row. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Kabaroko to sobaria talikata. Jakaske barikato siyanapata. Let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Mama, I know that it's not time to pray, but I want to pray for you. Please come, madam. You came alone. Let her come. You came alone. Yes, yeah, so one of my son friend brought me here. When you are talking, everything you say is just about as if you are. Where, where did you together. come from? I come from uh, Samaru. From of, Samaru. Um, Basawa. No problem, Mama. Yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something I've Thank seen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The suffering. The suffering. The sorrow. The in my life, in my life must, end. must end. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I will eat. I will eat the fruit of my labor. The fruit of my labor. Father, by her confession, Amen. let her be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that captivity is over. I pray for all of you now. In the name of Jesus, my dear, don't be embarrassed. Eh? Be careful with men. Come. I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people, but be careful. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. The deception and the wickedness 
of evil doers i pray for you now every captivity in our last family whether male or female as i stretch my hands over you i command that it leaves you now it leaves your family now i say it again it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of jesus for the last time now an anointing will come on you it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of jesus christ god bless you please go back to your seat go back to your seat go back to your seat hallelujah now lift your hands everybody gentlemen when it's time to pray for the sick we'll pray for you well huh? just be patient please help him so that he doesn't strain himself all of you lift your hands one scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now why are you here my dear you are with him oh is your daddy what okay since then there is something that's been working on his body like you had an accident leg. yes sir okay and what happened and since then something has been working on his body on his stomach like snake at times the thing will are you seeing what i'm saying so it was never about accident you see accident was just the condition that made this happen i saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again but the lord would destroy it eh? just be patient we want to pray now let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray exodus chapter 15 quickly please 6 to 11 exodus 15 we're going to do a quick walk we need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families thy right hand O lord is become glorious in power thy right hand O lord has dashed into pieces the enemy next verse to 11 and in the greatness of thy excellency thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee thou sentest forth thy wrath which consumed them as trouble and with the blast of thy nostrils the waters were gathered together the flood stood up right as an heap and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea to 11 the enemy said i will pursue i will overtake i will divide the spoil my lust shall be satisfied upon them i will draw up my sword my hand shall destroy them next verse thou didst blow with thy wind and the sea covered them they sank as lead in the mighty water who is like unto thee O god among the gods who is like unto thee glorious in holiness comma fearful in praises doing not delivering doing wonders that's what you're about to see now lift your hands he said i will pursue i will overtake my lost my desire will fall upon the people of god i want to pray listen deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down is 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 bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a pattern a separation the bible says the river separated teeth and hither separation to allow you move i want to pray are you ready now remember that after they moved the seventh time it was a shout the healer a shout not just any shout a shout that was sent like a word and the bible says the walls of jericho fell down flat that shout is what you are about to do but let me issue a command in the spirit in the name of jesus christ the one whom i serve and whose i am in the name of jesus i declare over every force in the spirit the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of god's people as they shout this shout wherever they are i command those spirits he said when they hear my voice they will run out of their hiding i command not only an exposition but a total separation are you ready to shout jesus at the count of three one two three in the name of jesus i command that fire to fall every power every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment 
every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment go now go now go now every enchantment paparakato soto preketelekata every enchantment every enchantment be free now hold on hallelujah i usually don't do this until i'm directed hallelujah i usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right i just want to pass through you don't have to touch me except it is not god that has called this meeting if there is a force and a spirit it must be exposed as i pass you in the name of jesus thank you father i decree and declare right now by the anointing of the holy ghost every power every force every power every force every power every force you must go now now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus as i pass you that anointing like fire is coming upon you to set you free be free now free now free now free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ those of you outside lift your hands lift your hands i'm going to pass here right now the anointing of the spirit is going to begin to come upon you are you ready now thank you jesus you don't have to touch me just just allow me pass be careful be careful father in jesus name let it be over now there is fire now that fire is moving all across now in the name of jesus ordinances be broken now i'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are in the name of jesus let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now be free now let it be over now 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 in the name of jesus christ be free now in the name of jesus as i'm passing close to you an anointing is causing every power let them go the spirit of the lord is telling me to stand here right now in jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now i came here because i know that there are so many of you look the crowd in this place i want to pray for you i'm standing here my god look at the oppression that i see just standing here i'm about to pray right now and from the front to the back from the left to the right i want all of you to shout jesus something is leaving people already are you ready now your destiny must be open please don't take it for granted bring them out now at the count of three overflow three one two three shake it take a takata be free now be free now in the name of jesus i command my god please help them jesus christ look what is happening here from the front to the back right now anyone here under the siege of darkness be free now be free now help them be free now lift your hands overflow three i'm praying for you are you ready to shout jesus again there are many of you you try to move forward but the force keeps holding you as you shout jesus now you're going to see something leave you are you ready father all those who have been held captive, i declare that as they shout jesus let your fire of deliverance come upon them one two three i release you now i release you now I release you now go forward i release you now delay broken i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen i'm going to pray for everybody 
but the lord is saying there are some of you here the call of god is upon your life but there are altars fighting you i'm about to release you oh god i'm seeing 17 one seven where are they oh god right now to the back where are they they have the call of god but an altar of darkness tying down their lives Mata soto kata. be free now hallelujah i'm going to pray for you look up please there are 11 of you the lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family and the anointing that anointing of that joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people lord where are they to the back right to the back that anointing a destiny is rising no even if you are the last born i decree and declare let that anointing find you now let that anointing find you now the joseph anointing the joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren hallelujah please lift your hands overflow three it's not about falling down although there are several things happening here but i want you to just focus the last prayer i want to pray for you many of you will be surprised what happens to you listen i'm seeing keys like a key that was missing some of you were once you were destined for certain things and the devil veered off your life and as it is right now the treasure that god gave you you have lost it as i pray for you that restoration anointing is coming upon you some of you is anointings some of you is business connections lord where are they at the count of three let that fire come shout jesus at the count of three one two three receive that grace now restoration fire 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 shake up butter please open your mouth and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray great grace great grace great grace great grace new season, new season. mama look at me it's over over forever over 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 it's going to use you the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ please everyone pray in the spirit. everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit pray in the spirit pray in the spirit overflow one pray in the spirit hallelujah praise the lord overflow one i want to minister to you now listen please i want you to believe everything i want to pray for you lift your hands all of you there are some of you here as i'm looking i'm just seeing chains i want to pray at the count of three i didn't come to waste your time right now that chain is going to leave people now anyone here under the sound of my voice and there is a chain of darkness overflow one i declare at the count of three right now let that chain be broken one I command that chain be broken now. Help them, please. Be broken now. To the back. Shakasko Pariata. Zato Kata. Be broken, broken. Fire is coming. I'm seeing fire moving across the crowd. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break every force, every yoke of darkness. 
Hallelujah. Are you pregnant? Come. I'm seeing an evil spirit. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. By the anointing of the spirit. I release the destiny of this baby. You will not lose this baby. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. This lady praying in tongues. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace for dreams and visions the lord is releasing it upon you great for dreams and visions hallelujah now i'm going to walk across this crowd please i just want you to release your faith release your faith and receive something now as i walk through i'm seeing altars and they are living right now thank you jesus father let there be deliverance right now right now right now right now right now let that fire as I move, oh God, let the angel of your presence move. Let there be deliverance. It is over. That's what the Lord says to you. Over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Over. 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 Shabbos Katai. Sheketis Kalabra Katoziata Kata. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. It is over. Please believe. As I'm passing you, don't, don't worry. The anointing of God will locate you over now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be over now, now, over your life. Let it be over. I'm seeing fire moving here like this. Who is that fire for? In Jesus' name, I stretch my hands. Let there be deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Mama, be free now in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural deliverance. Um, I'm seeing a circle here and the Lord is saying restoration of ministerial anointing a circle Lord where are they there are people here at least four of you I stretch my hands let the anointing locate you the call for ministry the call for ministry the call Parakato Sedekatoshia enter enter that level that's what I hear in the spirit enter enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension in the name of jesus christ hallelujah who is is it victory or victoria i'm hearing a name like a victory or victoria who is that please very quickly want to pray for the sick now it's like you are wearing something like blue blue who is that person What's your name, madam? Victoria. Yes, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. You've been coming. Madam, look at me. God is going to change your story. Completely. Amen. I don't know you, but yes. the Lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Hold my hands. Look at me. There is bad luck on your life, my dear. Good things come, but they never stay. And the Lord is saying to take it away right now. Be free. In the name of Jesus, I take away that spirit from your life. I set you free to move forward. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we go in. Who is Victoria? All the victories of Victoria be made free right now in Jesus' name. Can we go in from here? Everyone open your mouth and begin to pray. Prophesy. Say in the name of Jesus, I'm breaking forth spiritually. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new level for me. It's a new level for me. Enter a new dimension. Enter a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. I'm passing here now. There is an anointing. Move. Move to the next level. I'm prophesying to everybody standing here. Within the vicinity of this anointing. Step into a new dimension. I release that grace now. I release that grace now. I stretch my hands. Everything that has held you down. Let it leave you now. In the name of Jesus. My God, look at this. Are you seeing? The legs are rotting completely. In the name of Jesus, be free now. I command be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Go home and write it. Good news comes for me in 12 days. Lord, lose their destinies. 
I'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing. Let the destiny be open now. Open now. Shabbat Sokos Kaliata. Embriketo Sasikete Likata. Jekros Kadabalako In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing here and I'm hearing, I have called you, accept my call, accept my call, accept my call, accept my call. My call is upon your life. My call is upon your life. Stop fighting. My call is upon your life. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. My call is upon your life. Accept my call. My call is upon your life. My mandate is upon your life. My mandate is upon your life. That's what God is speaking. My mandate is upon your life. You cannot fight it. It's an ordinance decided from heaven. My mandate is upon your life. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Pastor Lawrence, speed, come. Where is, where is your wife to be? Come, come, two of you. I see a grace for speed. Lift your hands. Enter that dimension now. I release that grace. Speed to your life. The Lord is taking away delay. Go and mark it. You are entering a strange level. I see you climbing a ladder and the Lord is saying it's time for your glory. It's time for your glory. Light me Lord. Light me Lord. Light me Lord. Collect that child quickly from Kenny. Collect that child. Speed. That grace. Collect that child. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing that grace. A new dimension of speed coming upon your life. A new level of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed hallelujah mm. hey, Jimmy, i'm seeing something for you i'm seeing please stand up i'm seeing a bottle of oil and i'm seeing dollars a bottle of oil and dollars these two dimensions the spirit and supernatural resources that grace the lord is multiplying it i'm seeing a bottle a bottle of oil a bottle of oil the lord is giving you a voice not only in the area of finances but a strange demonstration of the spirit please be patient we are going to pray for the sick but tonight i i perceive god is doing something strange young man come come you and this guy two of you come stand step into a new dimension new dimension in the name of jesus you will never be the same this guy just lift your hands where you are come enter a new level in the spirit i release that grace now upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm looking at people and i'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat and the lord is saying is the spirit of prophecy lord i'm declaring right now it's happening to people right now it will come upon you like a mantle prophecy 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 from your belly from your belly prophecy i command those rivers makato sakata rivers of living water rivers 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 in the name of jesus christ this lady come you come quickly There is a grace the call of god is upon your life enter that dimension of his grace may the lord give you visitations 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 i bring you out of the cage that i see you in i bring you out of the cage i bring you out of the cage I see you inside a cage. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus. By fire. I bring you out. I bring you out. Ancestry will not fight you. I bring you out of the cage. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. We are soon going to pray for the sick. Where's, where's your wife? Where is she? The Lord is saying the powers will fight no more. Come. The powers will fight no more. 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 There are ordinances fighting this family. I see it in the spirit. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus, victory is established. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus. And he's stepping to a new level of the prophetic that has always been there. In the name of Jesus Christ. This usher lady. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to see things before they happen. That's what the Lord is saying I should tell you. God is putting something in your eyes. You will see things. Shata sotosha. Mari katos kubaria kata. You will see things before they happen. In the name of Jesus. With precision. With precision. And with accuracy. With precision. With precision. With precision. And with accuracy. Where are these people that just married? This lady in welfare. Where is she now? You and your wife. Where are they? She's not around. Stand up. Let me pray for you on her behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for your mother. Let the Lord perfect her. But I'm praying for you. Something wants to take finances off your life. If I don't pray for you, I see great suffering in the days coming. It's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet. But I cancel it right now. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I cancel it right now. In the name of Jesus. This fair lady. An angel is pouring oil on your head. That's what I'm seeing right now. An angel is pouring oil on your head. Breakthrough. Step into a new dimension. Step into a new level. In the name of Jesus Christ. A new level. A new level. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wato. Where is she? Is she here? I'm seeing a flag being raised up and the Lord is saying it's a new season. I'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit. The Lord is announcing you. I'm declaring, let that anointing come upon you. A new season. Let that flag be raised in the name of Jesus. Let that flag be raised. You will never, never be down. Let that flag be raised in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're going to pray for the sick. Let's just flow. God, you know, sometimes this is, this lady, you, come. Yes. Say for my shame. Say it for my shame. I receive double. The Lord is taking me to a new level and I receive it. I lay my hands upon you. In the name of Jesus, the grace for a new level. Is released upon you right now I command it so I declare it so in Jesus name I pray this gentleman you come confusion ends now in your life I lay my hands upon you I command confusion to end right now from your life in the name of Jesus confusion ends now over your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ confusion ends over your life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing I will, I will prophesy generally but I'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I'm, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but I'm seeing an anointing locating that family now this is this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify i don't care whether the resources are there or not i stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of jesus christ let that anointing by the spirit 
make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of jesus make it happen cameraman come i want to pray for you look at me it will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in amen you believe what i'm saying lift your hands father let this brother drink of the grace for favor a fresh dimension a fresh dimension a fresh dimension of favor in the name of jesus christ this lady you come the lord is saying i'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach i lay my hands upon you i'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through i command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of jesus christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast we're going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, i'm in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for god's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this look at this doctor look at this is this sickness look at how the whole leg is rotting already please quickly you're sick in your body come quickly stand if the people cannot move just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't um are we together now we're going to pray it will be very fast because our time is gone we want to finish on time the devil is a wicked person for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh, god will grant grace pastor lawrence come you will join them today when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you made a way hallelujah father in the name of jesus by the corporate anointing we pray these people have come expecting to be healed expecting to be touched i pray that your anointing will visit them right now in the name of jesus overflow one overflow two overflow three let there be a release of the corporate grace right now in the name of jesus christ we're free now in the name of jesus christ and what's wrong with you my dear huh fracture where how long where is the leg it can't move and your hand don't worry it's okay and your legs lord jesus please walk help this lady miracle, jesus. in the name of jesus walk my miracle here i release today. that anointing upon you right walk now miracle, i correct your body jesus. now hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit if they are still praying for you outside just just continue please if your request is yet to come here you can quickly wave it wave it and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly stretch your hands stretch your hands by faith believing that god will visit you don't don't stretch your hands out of unbelief if there are requests here to come please let them come here quickly please bring them quickly unto you that answers prayers oh god shall all flesh come Rakato sodo prende ge barakato shabra diski la baria. Enda kato sata prakato jalabaria kato prende ge degodos. Please pray. You are praying in the spirit. You are connecting. Lord, we are believing that we will not have to write this again. Be serious about it. Make sure you are connected by faith. Shakato kaparakato barikata sipriada balarabash. 
Lord, arise in majesty. Arise in your power. Visit the case of people. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus. Let this be the last time. Shabakata pakata 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 pakata. Ende keto rakato shada pragada baladaba. Lord, we believe in you. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Shabakata parada baroto soto predegate. Legata kato prandegate presha de bele de bosh. Hallelujah. 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 Please respond with a resounding amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, this is not a ritual. I stand on behalf of your people. Lord, these requests represent different dimensions of demonic Jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny. Father, as I step upon this, let this be symbolic of the ark going around Jericho. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen. You're going to shout Jesus. We're going to shout Jesus seven times. Are we together? As a prophetic act over this. I'm going to guide you and you will shout it. For every one shout, let it represent one day going around Jericho. That at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is if you don't believe you will never never see the salvation of god but for believers you'll be surprised father that you hearken to this prophetic act and oh god i stand leading your people as we shout that name the name of our high priest who has been exalted above the ironic priesthood above any kind of priesthood are you ready now I will call the number and you shout Jesus. Are you ready? Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Crumbling every mountain. Number three. Shabakoto Sopataya. Makrotoba, I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we're shouting this Jesus. Number four. Jesus. Number five. Jesus. Number six. Jesus. I put an anointing on this seven shout. Let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain. In the name of Jesus, number seven. Jesus. I decree and declare unto you, prepare for strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, even before you get to your homes or where you came from, you will meet it waiting for you like a messenger. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Let's take the prophecy and then we'll round up. Every shame and reproach that has lingered in your life shame and reproach some of you is a pattern across your family members in the name of jesus christ i command shame and reproach be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever hallelujah i release over your life 
supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life hallelujah i decree and declare that every garment he saw joshua the high priest and he said to remove that garment every garment you are wearing that is attracting bad luck attracting all kinds of things the bible says to give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness i tear off that garment from your life i tear off that garment from your life garment of reproach i tear it off from your life I tear it off from your life in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare divine direction Lord what do I do where do I go to tonight by dreams and visions and strange encounters I provoke divine direction to come to your direction in the name of Jesus Christ master we have toiled all night but i prophesy to you go back this time around to the same place you failed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and surpass the ordinary in the name of jesus christ every door that has refused to open your parents tried it refused to open the Bible says, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, O ye not doors, ancient doors. I come against every ancient door and every gate. Swing open now in the name of Jesus. Swing open now in the name of Jesus. Swing open now in the name of Jesus. Every helper that must arise tonight, not tomorrow tonight every helper ordained by god to rise up and come to your aid i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them listen whoever has what it takes to help you in the name of jesus i direct their eyes to you i say it again whoever has what it takes to help you i direct their hearts to you the same mystery that bound jonathan and david i declare wherever your helper is let it be as it were for jonathan and david in the name of jesus christ all those in ministry here i prophesy to you a strange unction upon the work on your hands step into a new direction step into a new dimension in the name of jesus christ every family here that has cried that's all you've known to do cry and cry and say when will god deliver us i declare that your weeping has endured enough i prophesy your morning comes and with it joy in the name of jesus christ those writing exams let the mercy of god the mercy that helped those who went before you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you hallelujah there are people here you are sensing that your spiritual life is dry it's not like you don't love god but revelations they don't come as they used to come again sometimes you open your bible you cannot even read to pray you are sensing something is wrong it's like you know your spiritual life is under attack in the name of jesus christ i launch you to the new a new insight a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter the lord will open your eyes to not only listen to teachings but to get the spirit of the message there are some of us the devil has cheated us 
by allowing our prayer altar go down in the name of Jesus tonight let fire from heaven fall upon your prayer life let the quickening of the spirit fall upon your prayer life every wrong friend in your life whether you want them to go or not in the name of Jesus for the sake of God's hand upon your life I separate you with them forever this night I separate you with them forever time wasters destiny wasters I cause a separation between you and them forever we're rounding up some of us here are plagued with the spirit of laziness spiritual laziness mental laziness physical laziness the bible says a lazy hand a slothful hand will that a one that deals with a slothful hand will beg he will become poor i decree and declare the spirit of productive diligence not just diligence the spirit of productive diligence i release it upon you right now are you ready to receive favor I will continue to pray favor upon your life until it works. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Even if you have seen favor in your life, by the grace of God, I release you to a new order of favor. A new order of favor. A new order of favor. Favor is not when you have money favor is when men arise by god to meet your needs if you have money and men don't come to your life you are not favored you are only prosperous you are not favored favor is when men arise that before you call they come they don't come and go they come and stay until the purposes of god have been achieved i call them now from the east the west the north and the south help us of your destiny may they appear before you in the name of jesus christ I don't know what personal request you desire from God but I release my faith with you and I declare that by miracle service may you will only return rejoicing over that issue in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here trusting God for a good job not just a job that you look like a slave a job with honor in the name of Jesus I agree with you between now and next miracle service may god bless you with a job that will launch you to a new dimension everyone in business here the god factor the favor factor the help factor the ebenezer factor i release it upon your business i release it upon your field of endeavor in the name of jesus christ the Bible says where thou hast been rejected so that no man will pass through you it says I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations I decree and declare may your gates be continually open now I want to pray a prayer that may be very strange for some of us I want to pray that somebody will give you money listen hold on listen we are not money mongers this is not some canal thing there are some of you this is what you need you don't need advice you don't need counseling you just need help straight help i pray for you you will be surprised it will look like a dream i pray for you not a helper not access thank god for it but a helper that will come with the financial resource to help you I stretch my hands and I release it upon you in the name of Jesus Christ the anointing for miracles help that guy the anointing for signs the anointing for wonders whether you are called in ministry or not in the name of Jesus may you carry it in your spirit From today, 
begin to reproduce a new order of signs and wonders and finally i pray for you whatever needs to be done for your family members to rejoice in the lord between now and the next 30 days whatever needs to be shaken whatever needs to be overturned in the name of jesus christ joy for your family members joy to your family members in the name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ and for every for every worker here in the name of jesus christ after tonight rise with a new level of evidence become a testament not just a testament of a believer in christ but a testament that you belong to this spiritual family the grace to prove it let it be released upon you in the name of jesus whoever fights you may he find himself fighting himself whoever fights your family may they fight themselves they will point the knife at you and hurt themselves in the name of jesus christ hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you